Hi, I'm Hazel. It is almost Saturday, so it's time for a new vlog. It's actually like quarter to two on a Friday because, you know, I'm a little late getting started, but better late than never. Uh, this week, I caught a little bit of the Overwatch World Cup stream this morning. That was really fun to watch. Um, I didn't see all of it, so I don't know exactly how it went and how it ended. Hi, Katie, what's up? But um, super, super fun to spectate. I know it's still August, but it's getting me kind of excited. Is it too early to be excited for BlizzCon? You know, we're going to be able to watch the Overwatch Cup. Here, I'm going to scooch back so you can... Actually, no, I can't scooch back far enough so you can see my cat. You're just going to have to trust that there's a cat here. I, I think I've moved. I don't feel like I'm in the same spot. I must not be. Anyways, yeah, we're going to be able to watch the Overwatch Cup. And then I love watching the Hearthstone stuff. And then, of course, the WoW Esports. And then uh, announcements, like, there's got to be good announcements. I'm feeling, I'm feeling a good vibe, and also just it time-wise matches up, like, when the patch release cycle. I'm feeling a good vibe for an expansion announcement at BlizzCon, and I just have no idea. Every now and then somebody will ask me what I think the next expansion is going to be. I got nothing! I have no idea! I'm so excited to find out where they're going next. Legion has been such a wild ride, um, and I think it's been a very content-packed wild ride. Like, there's just been so much that's gone into this expansion that I'm really excited to see where they take all of all of that energy and put it and put it towards next so I'm excited for BlizzCon of course BlizzCon is in November and it's like right now August so we've got some time but you know we've got patch 7.3 coming our way to sort of tide us over and based on what I've seen from patch 7.3 so far that's going to keep us pretty busy what else uh something else to keep us busy coming um this what is it Thursday the 17th we have the trial of style hitting live servers finally um, it's coming in as a micro holiday, which means that you only have like a couple days to do it. It's going to be on running over the weekend. I think it goes like Thursday to Monday or Thursday to Tuesday, something along those lines. Um, we're going to be able to like compete to see who is the most fashionable. Well, not really. You're going to be compete to see who is the most fashionable among the six people that queue into the group with you. And uh, I'm really, I'm really excited for that. I wish that there were better rewards. I understand that they've kept the rewards kind of skippable so that you can skip it if you don't want to do the micro holiday because it's not like on a regular rotation, but I hope that they run the event and they look at participation and they look at feedback and they consider the possibility of taking it off of the micro holiday rotation and instead putting it into something that happens more regular. I think it does still need to be limited in time because if trial style was available all the time, um, you might run into queue times where not enough people are actually actively queuing up for it. So I think keeping it limited is good, but I think, and I don't know if it's a stylistic fit, but I think it would go really well onto the Dark Moon Fair. Like for one week, you know, almost one week every month, you could go and queue up for the Trial of Style and maybe get some bonus Dark Moon Fair tickets. You know, everybody's going to want those just to try and get their dirigible mount. Um, and then, of course, maybe some more unique appearances. And that's more palatable because it's something that's available more regularly. I think I would really like to see that. And I also want to hear what you guys think of that idea. Do you think that the Trial of Style should be on a recurring monthly schedule? Um, do you think it should be open all the time? Um, do you like it on the once tentative once a year micro holiday schedule? Um, do you not care at all about transmog and you want to get back to killing people in the video game? Like, I want to I hear your thoughts on that, so leave those in the comments below. As far as video making, um, I made a little bit of a stylistic change to the last... Was it the last video I did? I don't remember. I've had like a blurry last couple of days. But um, the one... The, the quality of life change is one. I've decided that for those kind of news discussion type videos, I want to do the green screen thing. So I've set up the green screen again. You can kind of... If you like... If we tilt back, you can see there's like bar bar of death up there and then over here and there we go that's where I've like stashed it so I don't know it's it's such I don't know where I th I'm just kind of keeping it up right now I can't get into the closet of this room but I don't think I need to is there really anything in there that I need anyways it's working out um my cat is being really adorable right now and I really wish I could show you hang on maybe I can just grab it with one hand and we can oh, oh, kitty 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 there's the kitty yeah that's that's what's going on. That's what's going on off camera. Normally we can see the cat in the lap. I don't know what I've done wrong today. Uh, it is Friday, so we're going to be doing a stream this afternoon. I am not committed to this, but I am very tentatively considering doing a normal Tomb of Sargeras run on stream, like a viewer run. So that would be Alliance, it would be North America, it would be starting shortly after 3 p.m. Pacific time, so pretty soon. And uh, I don't know if we'd be able to do the whole raid. Uh, the plan, I think, if I do that, is going to be just to follow our hearts and get as far as we can and see if we can get anybody else any legendaries. Because as far as I recall, the last time that I led a viewer raid, we got like a bunch of people legendaries. Like it was a really lucky day all around, so maybe we can do that again. And then for baking streams, there are going to be brownies happening on Monday. Hopefully this will go better than the cake pops. The cake pops went great for the first three. And everybody that ate one loved them. 
It, we mostly ran into problems with the dipping. I think I need to freeze them longer next time. Anyways, um, brownies on Monday um, in the afternoon, 2 p.m. Pacific. And then, of course, there'll be a VOD up for that as well. So that's next. I'm going to move right on along to questions from the week. Uh, Queer2T asks, hi, Hazel. Would you consider making a video about BDO? You could show what you do there daily and the ways it's different from WoW because you always say that you like it because of that. So first thing I'm going to say is that is a good idea. And there are two reasons why I'm not going to do it. <laughs> uh, the first reason is kind of the main thing that I like about BDO. And this might sound kind of selfish, but I like that in BDO, I don't make videos. Nobody knows who I am. I don't have any friends. I'm not in any kind of a guild. And it is very much sort of like a single player thing for me to just peck around on when I really want to disengage from like the video thing. But um, the second reason and that kind of overrides the first reason why I'm not going to do that is I've actually quit BDO. Um, I, I uninstalled it and it was a very sad moment to uninstall it for me. It's not because I didn't like it. I was having plenty of fun, but I was logged in and I had just finished watching Black Mirror, which might have fit into this a little bit. But I was logged in and I was tending my digital cornfields and I was picking corn to make beer, you know, digital beer and level my digital co cooking skill, you know, for no real reason aside from the fact that it was something to do. And, you know, I was like killing some digital bugs and I was like, you know, none of this matters. I need to not, <laughs> I need to take this time that I'm spending growing corn and stop playing Korean MMO Farmville, um, which is no knock on it. You know, if you're looking for something to occupy some time, if you like that kind of thing, it is great. It is an excellent, excellent game, but I found that I just don't have time for it. Um, and I needed to just step away from it. So I've uninstalled it. So I won't be doing any videos. If I ever do get back into it, I might consider doing some, um, not like a regular series, but like, like an intro to BDO kind of thing. So it is a good idea. Um, it's definitely a game that if you have any interest in it, it's, it's worth trying out. Um, you do pay to buy it, but you don't have to pay after that point. It's free to play after that point. So even if you don't like it, you just come back to it once a year or so, like I probably will at some point. Um, you're not in the hole. You're not like trying to sustain two MMOs. And Kute asks, this might be a little bit of a personal question, um, are you happy? Generally pretty happy, yeah. <laughs> um, I think I have good days and bad days, and I think everybody has good days and bad days. And something that I've found over the course of my life and all of the different things that I've done is that no matter where I am, for the most part, you know, barring like major mental health issues, good days and bad days pretty much stay in balance no matter how well or poorly I'm doing. You know, there's always going to be something that makes me happy and there are always going to be things that, you know, do the opposite. And I think something that's been really good for me is just to spend some energy to actively recognize the things that make me happy and then just focus on those a little more. You know, whenever there's something that I know upsets me, I'll, if it's not important and it's not something I need to deal with, I'll just step back from it and redirect that attention to something that makes me happy. This is a really good example. Is there any way I can back up far enough? I can't. You're too low. It's like, a, it's like having a secret ball of adorable just like purring at you. <laughs> But yeah, Katie makes me happy. My friends make me happy. Making videos and getting to interact with so many incredible people, um, you guys, makes me happy. And I'm just incredibly fortunate to be living a life where I get to spend a lot of time doing all that stuff. So yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. That has been my week. It was a little bit of a short vlog, I know, but not a whole lot new happened this week. And I want to try and uh, get this right along to maybe get it out before the stream. We'll see. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or like answered on a vlog, just leave them as comments on the most recent vlog and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.